So as you guys saw, I actually got the Inferno Dragon. I saved my legendary chest that I got from a battle precisely to try to get the Inferno Dragon and I got it minutes after it got released. I was so lucky, I was freaking out. And I've been playing with the Inferno Dragon non-stop. I've been trying so many combos, so many decks, and I created one that I feel is very, very powerful. It's amazing. It's amazing at 3,400 trophies. With a level 6 giant, It's I think it's impressive. I think it's very impressive. The minion pack are great at defense, the ice spirit, fire spirits, amazing combo. I hardly use the minions, they're only level 9, and they do a great job when you combine them with the Inferno Dragon. I have the Lumberjack, so if you don't have the Lumberjack, add the Rage spell, because an enraged Inferno Dragon, OMG, you can't imagine how much damage it does, but also because I would add the Poison spell, but unfortunately it's only level 2 on this account so I'm not too confident with it but besides that the lumberjack does a lot of damage per second so if you want to add the poison spell the rage spell or the valkyrie they are very good alternatives so after many hours of experimenting with the inferno dragon I noticed that it's very effective if it has a tank in front of it I would use the lava hound but I do not have it I feel like the lava hound is probably the best tank best thing to accompany the Inferno Dragon, but right in these days of in the current state of Clash Royale, anything you put behind a giant is literally powerful. That's how powerful the giant is. You add a poison spell and it's just game over. But we're going against someone with a giant that's two levels higher than mine. My giant is a baby. He does zap right here. If not, where else? His giant would ha wouldn't have even crossed a bridge. So I have perfect counters to the giant. The Mini P.E.K.K.A, the Lumberjack, the Inferno Dragon. I do deploy the Mini P.E.K.K.A a little bit too late, but it's going on a rampage. It almost takes out that Prince, but just to make sure, I zap the Prince, because if it gets a charged shot, it's a game over. I do decide to deploy the Minions instead of the Fire Spirits, simply because I wanted to get some damage on the tower, which it gets one hit, so it's not that bad. And like I said, anything you put behind a Giant's powerful, but I have the perfect counters. So the Lumberjack along with the Inferno Dragon. Let's see how many hits does it get. One. I, I bet this guy's not used to this. <laughs> I bet this guy's just used to deploying a giant, putting troops in behind, and boom, it's over. But look at this rage spell. Going in, it's down. He zaps again, or else that tower would have been down. Zap is very important these days. That's how good Zap is. I would advise to use Zap all the time in every deck. It's still very good. It's still very good. Right here, my minions doing a well, well job at taking down that prince. So, will my minions get a shot? Of course, my minions, even though they're level 9, are really, really good. So, I'm hoping that my Lumberjack actually takes out the princess and gets the tower down already. I want that tower to be down already. He deploys the giant a little bit too late. And he gets to do damage on the giant. <laughs> Look at all that damage that the lumberjack is doing. But now we have to face the truth. A huge giant push. Literally, it's a giant push. But I have to use my giant as a distraction. It's dirty. It's something that I hate. <laughs> and I actually deploy my ice spirit terribly. It's very bad. Or else it wouldn't, it wouldn't have... Maybe it would have made it to my tower or not. But I deployed my ice spirit very, very badly. So I have troops. So I might as well go for the counter. So we have two Inferno Dragons. Look at all that damage. Dude. OMG. That giant got roasted so bad. If Rysgum was a troop, Rysgum would be the Inferno Dragon. That's how bad this Inferno Dragon roast tanks. Just call the Inferno Dragon Rice Gum. So we're going against this guy, and he has a giant and minion. So you're gonna see how much higher of a level of troops he has. A lot of people say I suck at this game. I'm not the best at this game, but I guess I like to compete, and I guess I'm doing a pretty well job with what I have. With what I have, I believe I'm doing a pretty good job. So we have a baby level six giant going on the right, and. I do deploy my Inferno Dragon a little bit bad. I don't know why I did this, honestly. But let's see if we could actually take this down. And his minions are level 11, which are two levels higher than mine. And oh man, do we get to the tower? 
Do we get to the tower? Oh! My lumberjack's still going! <laughs> Dude! That is why I deploy my lumberjack behind the giant, not in front of it. And the reason why is because the lumberjack is a little bit too fast. So I want the lumberjack to push the giant forward, and with its high damage per second, boom. Towers go down instantly. That is why I deploy my lumberjack behind a giant. Right here, he tries to deploy his <laughs> barbarians as a distraction, but no. Look at Ricegum. Okay, Ricegum gets zapped, and it gets distracted by my ice. My fire spirits do a very well job, but I'm in trouble. I have no idea what to do. I'm like, oh no. Barbarians are pretty powerful, pretty powerful. And that ice wizard, it's so powerful too, but not enough not powerful enough so what do i do to counter this princess do i put an inferno dragon yes i do because i want to see if it actually gets to the tower so I've, i was experimenting i was experimenting a lot and that's why i think that this deck is very good so he was going to deploy his minions but he was scared that they were going to get frozen then he he, he didn't know what to do and my fire spirits perfect compliment Oh man, that is why the Ice Spirits with the Fire Spirits are the combo, but right here I have to do deal with a level 8 giant, so I deploy a mini P.E.K.K.A. and then there's a Hog Rider that's level 8 on the right. My Lumberjack, it gets two shots only, but now I have to deploy Rice Gum, and we managed to save the tower. But that Ice Wizard is slowing down my giant, but I put another giant, so we have double giants, and I wish I could have put another Inferno Dragon. But we have to take all of this down because if he puts a giant in front of all this, no, it's game over. But the mini Pekka survived for a very long time. And Rice Gum, look at him. He had full health. So that is why a tank is very important to put. It's very important to put. So right here we put the, the, the dynamic duo. The dynamic duo, which is the Lumberjack and the mini Pekka, completely tear apart that giant. And we end up with a win. Good game. Thumbs up. Dude, this deck is so good. So we're going against General Wayne now. This guy is literally one of the dirtiest players I've ever faced. He has four spells. Fireball, arrows, rocket, and free spell. Like, this guy is... I don't know if he's trolling or this is how he plays. But he's trying to get damage to the tower so he could rock and fireball for the win. Some people say that's disgusting, but I'm gonna say it's dirty because it's actually kind of funny. But I have perfect counters. I have perfect counters. He's not gonna expect what I have. So he is bringing a hog rider. So I deploy my Inferno Dragon, but it gets frozen. So I'm like, ah, I do not want to deploy another troop. I might as well just go for the off offense and try to take out. The, his tower maybe go for the three crowns so he does have an inferno tower so i zap it before it gets to its maximum damage per second and my ice spirit oh it freezes it and that tower look at rice gum roast that tower completely gone i actually th thought that the inferno dragon was a little better so that's that is why i put another inferno dragon but as you're gonna see it's good but it's not great so a lot of people thought it was overpowered but when it's left alone it's not too great it's not too great so it's good but not too, not great i guess that's how i could put it but general wayne he's gonna he's about to pump up i still have no idea what he's trying to do for some reason and i have perfect counters for the hog rider and i put the lumberjack the lumberjack it's very good as you saw and right here, I'm like, ah, uh, I, I really wanted to go for the three crowns because this was actually my first battle trying this deck. And I actually thought that the Inferno Tower was not the Inferno Tower, the Inferno Dragon was a little better. But as you, as you're, as you saw, it's not that great. So right here, I'm deciding to either go for the two crowns or three crowns, but I'm stubborn. <laughs> I rarely go for the three crowns because usually it backfires. So here we go. I have no idea. I thought that I have no idea. I still have no idea why I'm trying to go for the three crowns and a fireball and a rocket, which pretty much did not do anything. And now we have two. Yes, count them two 
Giants, but not anymore. But now we have two Inferno Dragons. I zap, but he puts another Inferno Tower. I'm still stubborn, and I go for the Mini P.E.K.K.A. And right here with the Ice Spirit. Oh, MJ. Oh, no. Proc it. So crazy, so I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I'm never going to get the three crowns. So I might as well go for the two crowns. I just want the win. That's it. I'm tired of this guy. Let's go. So my giant from the back and I'm like, ah, I'm just going to leave it alone. He deployed it really badly. Really bad. Well, but I decided to go for the counter push and you're going to see. I'm, I'm actually spreading out my troops because of this. He only takes out my Inferno Dragon. So he decides to fireball, but he misses everything. And now he arrows, he's trying so desperately. Oh my god. And right here, it's gonna be over because the enraged giant and an enraged inferno dragon do a very well job. I do put the mad face because I think this guy was trolling me. <laughs> and he ended up getting to my head. But, anyways, this was a very, very good battle. So here's the deck once again, like I said, the dynamic duel is very good, rice gum is very good, anything behind a giant like I said is super powerful, the ice spirit as you saw, along with the fire spirits is amazing, minions, great, great, so like I said, alternatives to the lumberjack, poison spell, rage spell, and even the valkyrie. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and comment, and until next time, peace, out.